Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie and today we have another $2 outlet thrift haul. This haul is just a little bit different because it's from two different outlets. It's from both the Family Thrift Center outlet as well as the Goodwill outlet where everything comes out to be just about $2 an item. Um, and yeah, I found some really great things to resell on primarily my Instagram, but also Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and all of those resale platforms. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So if you're new here, um, welcome, and thanks for checking out my channel. You should totally subscribe and like this video. And if you see any items throughout the video that you're interested in, feel free to DM me on Instagram at curatedbynatalie and snag these items at a bit of a discount before I post them because I don't have to go through the effort of making an entire post about them. Just be sure to send me a screenshot or the item's description. All right, so the first thing I found was this brand new with tags pretty little things satin bodysuit it's a size eight it's really really cute i really like the lace detailing there um and yeah it's brand new with tags pretty little thing retails at i want to say like 35 ish um but they run a lot of sales so probably more like 30 25 but seeing that's brand new with tags it's definitely worth picking up and it's more of like my instagram depop kind of style so i'm really happy to have found it love this piece i also love that it's a thong back because we hate panty lines the next item i found is absolutely beautiful it's this zara crushed velvet dress with flutter sleeves i am so obsessed with this i have not tried it on um but I feel like I'll love it. That's the problem with trying on all my pieces is that I just fall in love with all of them, but I have no, absolutely nowhere to wear this right now. So I, I don't need to keep it, but it's a size extra small and it's just the regular Zara tag, but a stunning piece. Oh my gosh, it totally caught my eye and just, oh, I love it. The next thing is this Woolrich sweater. Woolrich is, definitely a really great brand to be on the lookout for this is a sweater vest it's a men's sweater it's a size large and just in really really great condition it's got this waffle knit here and it's like a beautiful army almost olive green with pockets and the zipper works beautifully it's just a really great piece. I'm excited to get it posted, but also it is August. So I feel like it'll definitely sell more so in like a month or two, but I've seen people selling like winter boots right now in July and like making posts about it and be like, list your death pile. So they're right. I should list my death pile. And what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> then I found this corduroy and y'all already know if you watch my videos, I am obsessed with corduroy shirt jackets which i refer to as shackets and this one is definitely obsess worthy it's got pockets which i am also obsessed with it's just a really great piece it's a size extra large i do believe this is a woman's extra large it looks more like on the woman's sizing scale but i did find it in the men's section so not entirely sure um but a really 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 great piece 100 percent cotton Oh, we love the thick cords. And I found another corduroy piece. This is a corduroy pinafore dress. It's a size extra small. It's just Wild Fable, which Wild Fable is from Target. But I like picking up their stuff because it's typically on trend. And when I'm getting it at an outlet store, I can still sell it for less than retail. And both people are getting something cute, something sustainable, and saving money at the same time so i'm stoked about this one it's so perfect for the upcoming months really trying to start sourcing a little bit more for fall because even though it's hot out like people are starting to think about back to school and everything like that so we got to get on that on that track this is a lovely jumpsuit it has no brand as i can recall i don't remember it like being a bolo or anything I've never heard of this brand and I don't think it's a bolo. 
I think it's just some random boutique brand, but it's an amazing piece. Like, look at this jumpsuit. It's got these pinstripes and pockets. I am picturing this with a turtleneck. Oh, I think this might be a piece that I keep, but I'm not 100% set. It's just stunning. I don't think I mentioned the size on it. It's a size medium, but oh, it's a great piece. Super, super, super cute. Then we have this beautiful linen blend gingham summery top. It's just so sweet. It's a size small and it's the newer anthropology label. Basically when the label says buy anthropology instead of just pilgro or like I don't know what's another one Mave, and when it says that by anthropology it means it's a newer label and so it's a newer piece and i think i looked this one up and it's from either 2020 or 2019 which is pretty recent seeing that it's in a thrift store so excited about this one definitely getting this posted asap because we know we're trying to start sourcing for fall but i couldn't pass that one up then i have this piece and how could i not it is literally Bob Ross painting in outer space. I mean, <laughs> it's a size large and it really reminds me of my Space Cats tee, but I won't be keeping this one. So it's totally up for grabs. It's a cutie. I I think I found this in somebody's put back pile. I don't know, but I was kind of offended for Bob Ross that somebody put this back. I was like, I have to get this and give it a new home. I saw that they're reselling at like $20, which is totally worth snagging it at the thrift store. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Ah, uh, couldn't pass that up. Okay, here's another weird find. I'm going a little out of order just because I want to show y'all. This, look at this. They say, raw y'all tea and at first i was like what is this i why and then i looked it up and these retail at like 130 dollars which we all know high retail does not mean high resale but i did decide to risk it for the biscuit because 130 dollars for raw y'all t-shirts i don't know but i feel like they have a high resale potential so i snagged them I don't see any others on eBay or Poshmark or anywhere, so I'm kind of in the open on like how to price these. I don't know if you have any familiarity with this brand, please let me know. But like, I couldn't pass it up saying that they seem really nice. Like they are nice quality. That's why I picked them up and they obviously retailed for a lot. So definitely had to snag them. They're funky. They are a size small and i mean they're in great condition they're they're fun i don't i don't know what this brand is like if they're like a certain like skater short or something like that but fun find tbd on if raw yalti is a bolo oh and bolo by the way is brand to be on the lookout for i just tend to use acronyms in my normal vocabulary and i know all people are not up to date on it i should just have my own dictionary then we have, oh, now I'm in my short stack, but then we have these little chubbies. These are not your regular chubbies brands. They're the brand Maripex, and they're a newer brand. They were established in 2015, but these are just super fun. They're a size large. I do believe this is a men's large, um, and they have elastic at the waist, and they retail at like 50-ish and seem to resell at like 20 to $30. So. I definitely snagged these because chubbies are really in. I mean, boys love chubbies, so I grabbed them. Then ugh, I was so excited to have found these. These were again in somebody's put back pile, but I have no idea why they put them back other than maybe they were just shopping for themselves and they did not fit them. Look at these. These are the coolest vintage shorts ever. They are the brand Rio, which I am not familiar with, but they are size eight and they just, ugh, the waist on these is amazing. I have never seen such a cool high-waisted jean. I love that they have belt loops so you can customize the size a little. They have pockets. Everything is still there. The buttons, the zipper. Oh, super obsessed with these. And then I found another really great pair of denim shorts in the same put-back pile. These Levi's 
button fly distressed shorts. What style are they? They are 501s and 501s are definitely really great. These are the newer Levi cutoffs, but super quality. They are that button fly, like I said, and they're a size 28. Super cute, really into these. Then I found another pair of really cool shorts. These ones are also vintage, like the previous Rio ones, not the Levi's. These are our boy Bill, Bill Blast. These are a size 14 and they've got the coolest drawstring waist. Like, like it just cinches up and it's so cool. They've also got pockets, a little cargo pocket for some, I don't know, gum or something. I don't know what you want to put back there, but they don't have butt pockets. But I like that they have two extra side pockets to make up for the fact that they don't have butt pockets. And I just think that they're so cute. Really into these. Then... I found another pair of bills. These are full length bills. They are a size 16 and they're a really nice light wash. Let's show off the waist. Really great pair of vintage jeans. I love this color. And the way that butt is like a little triangle. Oh, that's so complimenting. These are so nice. I'm obsessed with these. I love a good pair of Bill Blass jeans. Just Bill Blass in general has the best vintage fashion. If you wanna know what the Bill Blass label looks like, it looks like this. You'll also probably just see like Bill Blass written here on the butt or on the tag. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty obvious vintage brand, but a really great one to be on the lookout for. I love selling it, very into it pretty good comps too then this is the last pair of vintage denim that i picked up this is a new york and company pair of jeans these are definitely vintage and they're just such a nice black denim i really like how the person that had these before had them cuffed i think i kind of want to leave them like that for when i tried them on to just show the possibilities of how to style these babies these are boot cut they're a size 10 and they definitely have a really nice high rise i really like the butt on these i feel like i say that with every pair of jeans but it's really nice i like the tapering i don't know if you can see really a good pair i'm obsessed with them and i really like the wash it's a little bit worn but it doesn't look excessive like it's just a really nice uh i really like these sometimes it gets too excited about my thrift finds i'm like Arr! It's a little obnoxious, but whatever. Then I found this Liz Claiborne vintage linen dress. I want to say this one is the linen blend one. So it's a mix of linen and rayon. It's a size 8 and just a beautiful floral maxi. Really love the little v-neck here. And then it's got a really cool slit right at the front. It's so cool. And I just love the print. It's so, so, so sweet. I love wearing maxi dresses like this that are more of neutral toned with a nice brown leather belt. Just such a complimenting shape when you do that and just gives it a little bit more jazz because I feel like when I wear a maxi dress, it's a little bit of all one color, which, which I like, but it breaks it up and just gives it a, mm, makes it really, really nice. And I just, I feel like it'll look so good with this so i'm really excited to style this piece um and it's also got a little zip in the back really great then another vintage liz this one is more of a midi dress this is 100 linen and it's a size 12. really nice classic piece it's got a higher neck um just uh, really nice I love picking up linen. I think most of y'all know that. I really like the natural fibers. It, they just feel so good. I think that that's something that I've developed more so since moving here to Texas because it's so hot. Like linen is just so much more breathable. I'm wearing it right now. These are really cool free people um, overalls that I thrifted. Um, they've definitely got a couple stains on them and there's like a tear in the back. 
but when things have flaws I tend to keep them myself because I'm like oh well I mean it hurts their resale value so more for me <laughs> anyway enough about that I found this super cute vintage crew neck with a little collar I really really like this piece and it's in such good vintage condition i don't know this vintage tag i feel like it's a nobody but the sweatshirt itself is so cool i have a really similar color block sweatshirt that's also vintage and it is worn out like it has some stains on it and i'm telling you every time i go out wearing it it looks just like this i get five compliments on it people are like oh my gosh i love your sweatshirt it's so cool so when i found this one i was super excited because now somebody can twin with me so super cool and i don't know i was just feeling like the dad vintage vibes today so i also picked up this vintage thermal with a denim collar that's so cool and it's also got like little cuffed sleeves it's a size large it's 100 percent cotton which is definitely nice and it's the brand bass so i think that that's just like a, a typical like outlet store but it's definitely vintage and such a cool piece love it this oh i love this y'all also know i love chore coats they are just such a great closet staple piece and this one has a corduroy collar how freaking cool it's a size small and it's just got little small corduroy detailing throughout it really great front pockets i mean that's the signature of tour coats so anyway then it's got the the corduroy cuffs so if you want to cuff the sleeves it'll still show a little bit of extra corduroy which i just think is so cool really 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 nice excellent vintage condition too there's like no stains or flaws on it and all the buttons are there i love that i actually have two pieces in the haul that I did come home and I realized that there were a couple of small flaws on. So, still working to improve. I'm definitely not perfect. I know when I'm doing these hauls, it can seem like, oh my god, I found so much good stuff. But I literally brought home this North Face, which I was like, yes, North Face, heck yeah. But then I started putting my stuff on the hangers, like after I'd washed it and all that, like steamed. And then I was like, I can't zip it it's just super messed up the zipper it's beyond repair it's all like wavy and not right so i can't even zip it and there was like another flaw on it too i don't know but i don't know if i can even sell it for anything because who wants a jacket that they can't zip i mean i don't know but otherwise it's a really nice piece other than the front zipper but I don't really know what to do it's a size extra large men's but you can't zip the front we all make mistakes i i get why this was in somebody's throwback pile now so you should always be super careful when you're looking through stuff making sure that you're not bringing home a dud because we hate that and i'm i'm the type of person that i don't think i'm going to figure out how to fix this because I, I just don't have the patience to find a zipper and put it on there. But if you do and you want this, you could just pay shipping or something. Um, then I have this. This is such a good piece. This is the coolest vintage denim jacket, shirt jacket. It's oh, like this right here is so freaking cool. It's a size. Hmm. I have no idea what size it is. There is no identification for sizing here, but it's the brand Friday, which I also saw at another time, but I opted not to get that one. This one was just way too cool to pass up. There is a really small flaw on it. Here at the back, there's a really small stain. I don't even know if you guys can see it in the camera. It's more so actually like in the shirt, like there, but it's super unnoticeable. I noticed it when I picked it up. It didn't come out in the wash. I don't think that it's a huge deal. This up here makes up for it. Somebody's hair is likely going to cover it. They'll have a backpack on or something. And even if you have it all showing, nobody's going to notice. Too cute to pass up. 
It looks like it fits like a men's LXL if I was to guess because I can't find the size on it. Then this is just a really great piece. This is a cute little Roxy romper and it's like new. It's a size small. and I just love the detailing on it. Roxy is actually pretty expensive new. It's a surf brand. I remember shopping at a surf store like on vacation once just walking in seeing Roxy stuff and thinking, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Then I looked at the price and I was like, $80, not on sale, Whew, no thank you. So thrifting it, super stoked about it. Really great little buttons here, love the detailing, little cinched waist, ah, oh, cutie. Then we have this shacket that I am so obsessed with, it is the most amazing flannel ever. I don't even think that it's a flannel. I don't know what you would call it. It's like this woven thick material. What what material is it? I feel like it's 100% cotton. Let's see. It is 100% cotton. I've gotten so good with knowing fabric. I can just feel stuff and I'll tell you what it is. Cotton, polyester. I don't feel like this is a crazy good skill to have. Like what use will this ever bring me? in a job market other than reselling, but whatever. I can't ever just go in an interview and be like, I can list any fabric from touch. They'll be like, what? <laughs> anyway, this is the coolest cotton jacket ever. I am really obsessed with it. Also, this is low key a bolo. This is the brand Country Seat. I feel like this is probably like a Cracker Barrel brand. I don't know, but I just can envision my grandma picking this shirt up at Cracker Barrel and being like, oh my gosh, this is such good quality. I'm gonna bring it home. I don't know why I'm having that vision. But anyway, it's such a cool jacket. I saw them reselling at a pretty decent amount, which means that it's probably like over $30, but it's a cutie. I'm obsessed with it. Kind of low key, wanna keep it, but then we have this sweet little floral baby doll dress this is wild fable once again but just a, such a cute piece this is a size extra large but we all know fast fashion tags lie and i really don't feel like this is an extra large i feel like it's more of like a medium maybe a large but definitely not an extra large i'm really good at eyeballing sizes too touching fabric and eyeballing sizes. Those are my resume skills. But anyway, just a cute little dress. It's got little puff sleeves and uh, it's also got little buttons right here. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but it's so freaking cute. I, I couldn't leave it behind. And then this is a shirt that I picked up because it almost coordinated with it, which I don't know why I felt compelled to do this. But anyway, it's, it's a sweet shirt either way. It's just this cute little floral button up and I'm picturing it tucked into those Bill Blast jeans. It's a size 12 and this brand is absolutely nothing to be on the lookout for. I looked up comps and it's like 15 bucks, which I wouldn't necessarily pick up unless it's cute stinking print like this, then I will pick it up. I don't know. I was just so dar darling. I, I couldn't. I couldn't leave it behind. I kept trying to put it back, but I couldn't. Then we have this funky thing. I don't know. I was just really feeling the dad vibes, like I said. And this one is total dad vibes. This is a vintage Izod golf polo, and it's got little golf clubs in the circles. It's really, really cute. It's a size medium, 100% cotton. Great little polo definitely a unisex piece. I don't sell to men that much, but I definitely sell menswears to women. But if more men want to follow my page and snag some cool vintage gems, you should because this baby is super sweet. I saw comps. Oh my gosh, I just noticed this. Look, little golf clubs here at the button up. That's so freaking cute. I love this. Ah. Anyway, if any more guys want to follow me because I'm tending to pick up more men's stuff now, but it's really random sizes and really random pieces. And it's also pieces that I feel like could go to either gender, but cute. Then another polo. This one is, I do believe women. So it's a poo little polo and it's got Tigger here with a little butterfly. 
just a really sweet collared tee. I again feel like this would look super sweet tucked in some jeans with a belt. Ugh. I don't know just a really sweet piece i've been into picking up disney lately too i think you guys have gotten that um it's a size extra large um but definitely cropped extra large but it has stretch a good amount just a really sweet little polo then we actually have another chore coat in today's haul which y'all know I'm obsessed with these. This one is a really cool gray wash denim, really funky and unique. It's a size small, if I remember correctly, definitely an oversized small, and it's just a really great piece. I love that it has extra pockets up here at the chest and then the standard twerko pockets down here at the waist. It's the brand Elements exclusively Spiegel, which I don't think is anything crazy bolo-y it's just a cool vintage brand it's 100 percent cotton and just a really great piece i'm so obsessed with it love this gray color and that's actually all for today's haul today thank you so much for tuning in if you liked what you saw be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already following my instagram at curated by natalie you definitely should be thanks for tuning in bye